I guess it's morning already, is it? Oh, very early morning. Looks like everyone's awake. Um. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to do today. Alright, um, we're not going to put this stuff on yet, but we are going to put this on because I actually really like this music disc. I never thought I'd admit it, but it's pretty good. I must admit, it's just quite a cool little thing. You could just do this little jig to it. It's just, it's just pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, okay, I'm going to go talk to Rick real quick. Hey Rick, uh, about the whole Herschel and the Solomon Travis situation. Uh, just know that it wasn't actually Travis that did anything. And uh, I'm going to be sorting out what actually did happen, okay? Um, I'll tell you what happened when I get back alone. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I also hope you don't mind the music on. Walkers shouldn't really be able to hear it because the sound kind of echoes and you can't really hear it from outside. But, you know, it's, yeah, I just thought it was cool anyway. Travis must be in his room. I'll speak to Solomon in a bit. But I think that um, they've buried everyone already. And they've got this little area up. Okay, let's open this door. And then he's there. Um, hey, as well. Um, okay, here lies Andy. She was a girl. Who? Um, who wrote? <laughs> who wrote that? Here lies Andy. She was a girl. Well, I suppose that kind of makes sense because people would mistake Andy for a boy. So I guess, I guess. But you know, here lies Herschel Green, beloved father. I was gonna say farmer. Um, although I've heard that he actually was a farmer or is a farm. I don't. I don't really know. But, um, yeah, Herschel Green, um, Glenn, Maggie, Tara, um, watch these guys, make sure nothing happens to them. I'll be back in a bit. Okay. Now, I need to go and talk to Sol. <sighs> okay. Hey. So, you found Travis last night, then. Why'd you bring him back here? I could either lie to him or tell him the truth. Um... I'm gonna lie. Um, Rick's gonna take care of him, if you know what I mean. Oh, okay, good. That that kid deserves to die. Mm-hmm. So, uh, where... Or were there actually any supplies in that triangular building? Yeah, we gathered a chest full of stuff. Guns, weapons, food, and water. We got it all. I just didn't have time to bring it all back with me. Uh, do you want to come along with me to get it all? Sure. Good. Um, I'll meet you out front, okay? When when you're ready. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're still covered in blood, but you know, it shouldn't make a difference if it's walker blood or whatever. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to meet him out front. I guess I could just stand around and wait for him to come out. Okay. Um... I'm going to stay here. I also want to sort out these walkers at some point. So, hey, Aunt Annie. I've just got to wait here for Solomon to come out front. So, <sighs> okay. Let's wait for him. Oh, <laughs> where did you come from, Sol? Um, Aunt Annie, we're heading out. Um, we've got a little bit of business to take care of. <sighs> okay, Um, let's head over to that building then. I'm going to take out all of these walkers from a distance before they actually see me, so I think that'd be pretty good. Plus, I've got a bunch of P90s anyway, so wasting the ammo doesn't really make a difference to me, because I honestly just don't really care. And we need to clear this way anyway, so we can get to places, so keep up. Okay, there's some walkers coming. Okay, I'll get them. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Um, I don't know if I saw another one. I think I did. Okay, yeah, we'll just get rid of that guy and... That guy, if I can actually aim properly. Okay, you keep it up. Good. Um, ah, Walker. Okay. Um, what's that? Not okay. There's another one. Okay. Um, keep up, Soul. Sorry, <laughs> I'm a bit delayed on my my reactions. Um, I'm just gonna put this clothing on. It's gonna keep me safe. You've got you're covered in blood anyway, so you're alright. Um, and then I've got this mask as well. I don't know why. I just thought it looked pretty cool. Okay, so I don't think any of... I don't think... Okay. 
Um, there shouldn't be any... Sorry I keep going silent, Sol. I'm just trying to be as quiet as possible. What are we going to do? We're going to walk straight through these guys and none of them are going to attack us. Other than maybe those two guys. Okay. Um, we'll just kill that guy and that guy. Okay. Yep, we're going to walk straight through them. And none of them are going to... No, actually, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not risking it. I was going to. But um, now that I think about it a bit more, I don't think I really want to risk that. So, um, yeah. We should be safe from here, though. Because none of them should attack us. At least I don't think any of them should, anyway. But if they do, we can easily take them out. We've got enough bullets. Or at least I'd say we do, anyway. Okay. Keep your voice down now. Even though you barely even talk. But, yeah. Just try and keep it down. <sighs> Grr. <laughs> Stupid. Okay. This is the building. Alright. Still as many walkers as there were last night. Okay. Okay, Sol, um, you go straight up. I'll be up there in a minute. Um, I just need to look around. and <laughs> There's quite a bit of blood on the floor, I suppose. That's from all the walkers you killed when you were here. But, um, yeah, you go ahead straight up there. Gather all the stuff that was up there and all. Um, I'll meet you up there in a minute. How does that sound? Good, awesome. <laughs> um, I'll I'll be up there in a bit. Okay, he's up there now. He should be up there at least. Let's just make sure he's not actually watching me or anything. No, good. <sighs> I don't know why he seems all right. It's like he doesn't even care that he told a lie or anything. He just doesn't seem to care about what he's done. And come, it, it's quite obvious that I know, right? I mean, it's not like I'm acting any different. But those walk, those walkers seem familiar. We're just gonna, yeah, let's just not bother. But <laughs> I don't know. It's so obvious that I know, but you know, we'll just go up there and see if he says anything, and then I'll have to sort the situation out, I guess. Huh. <sighs> okay. Sol, I take it you're up here. Are you up here? Yeah. So, uh, these are all the supplies in here. Whoa, you had, you guys actually did get quite a lot of stuff. You got a fireman's hat and... Okay, cool. And then you got a pipe and a bolt cutters and a Mac-10, which is pretty cool. Awesome! Some ammo for my gun. That's cool. Um, protein bars are going to come in handy. I know quite a few people that like protein bars. Crisps? I mean, I hadn't seen any crisps in a little while or chips or... Whatever people call them, I'll just call them crisps, to be honest, because, you know. Okay, um, yeah, that's all of the stuff. Is that, is that everything that was up here? That is. Okay, um, hey, Sol. Um, you know this room here? There were two walkers in there, and, um, it was Herschel and Andy. You said they turned and they got eaten, but do you know what the weird thing was? When I got here, there actually weren't, a, there wasn't a single walker here. There wasn't even any bodies, there wasn't any blood. The blood that was downstairs was because me and Michonne ended Herschel and Andy, but there were no walkers here. Your entire story is a load of rubbish. It, it's completely made up. And what I'd like to know is... Why would you make up a story that could potentially get Travis killed? Because, I mean, I you, I don't know if you don't like the guy, but I like Travis. I don't see why you wouldn't like him. Because we were all schoolmates, and plus, you're only a teenager. Why, why would you plan to kill anyone? I mean, I know I've killed people, but that's because they're bad people. Travis is not a bad person. He just got in with the wrong people. It's... It's a completely different thing, and there's a hole in the ceiling. <laughs> but, um, I, I just, I don't understand. Explain to me about what happened, and I'll try and understand, but... I just don't understand, and... <sighs> You're not going to talk? <sighs> now, I personally don't want to do this, but... Everyone else needs to, and I need to, for the safety of everyone else, so... <sighs> Sol, I'm sorry. 
I truly, truly am for about what's for about what's gonna happen, but I there's nothing I can do about it. You brought it upon yourself. I can't do anything about this. It has to be done. <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> I don't know what to do with his body. I don't want to bury him. I'll take his gun, though, because in memory, I guess. <sighs> Had to be done. Just need to keep telling myself. Doesn't feel good, but had to be done. Okay, had to be done. It had to be done. Okay, Ryan, it had to be done. No matter how you feel, it's done now. It had to be done for the safety of others, for the safety of your brother, for the safety of your family, for the safety of everyone else that you love. Okay. I think I'm good. <sighs> Just take a deep breath and walk amongst these walkers. Okay. Pretend like nothing ever happened. Just keep walking, and then they're not gonna—they're not gonna know what happened. They're walkers. They're stupid. They're <sighs> okay. Let's keep walking. At this point, I'm actually pretty sure we're in Georgia, and um, I—if I remember rightly, that's the place I told Wally I was gonna meet her. And I mean, I know there's a few cities in Georgia, but. This is going to be one of them, and I've, we haven't searched every single building. Maybe Wally's here? I don't really know, but I'd love to meet up with her. That is, if she's even alive, which I hope she is, but I'm not going to get my hopes up because I just don't know. I don't know if she is alive, but I hope she is. I'd really love to see a friend right now that I hadn't spoke to in a while. And I'm back, Anthony. Actually, I'm going to take the mask off so people don't think I'm some random person. I'm going to put this fireman's hat on because it's pretty cool and red, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm back. Um, okay, let's go down these steps. I need to speak to Rick. Rick, <laughs> it's done. He's gone. His body's there. I don't know if someone wants to go there and get rid of it or whatever. But I can't do it. But he's done, okay? One bullet. Straight through his head, he's not coming back. <sighs> and I don't want him to be buried here either. He... He killed two of our own. Why would he do that? I just don't understand that, but... It's done. So... Just wanted to let you know. I'm gonna... <laughs> go and... <laughs> play with... Play with my dog now. <laughs> I guess, or just spend some time with my dog, you know. Um... <sighs> Hey buddy, long time since we've actually <laughs> messed around and been safe-ish. Um, how about we um, go play a game? I don't know, have I got anything that I can throw around? <laughs> I would play with a grenade, but you know, I don't want it to explode. We could use the pipe, you could go, we could play fetch with the pipe. How does that sound? Sounds good? Alright, um, yeah, <laughs> that's what we'll do. Come on then. <laughs> 